everyone and welcome to my kitchen. I want to just talk to you about a few of uh, my favorite cookware items and I want to start off with the kitchen collection and for uh, it's just great start up for if you want a few pieces and actually as a host it would make a great half price item too. So the first one and this is one of the first things that I bought or I uh, when I became a consultant this is one of the first things that I needed to get and that would be your 12 cup pot it's actually stainless steel um, now I do have the older version the newer one does have the silicone here on the top uh, for easy grab and you can tell that it's ergonomic so you can actually just grab this it's not awkward with a the handle stuck out and uh, what I like about it bonus is that it has a strainer in the lid so it has two sizes here so if you're boiling potatoes or you're doing anything that needs to be strained off it does have the spout so you can just take it over the sink and pour it out and then it just stays in here but you haven't messed up another dish okay now the next piece that i'm going to talk about is the silicone strainer so very uh compact you can see how small that goes for storage and it just opens up into that size see now it is silicone so it won't crack you know i've seen some of the ones in the store and uh or i've had them but they've been plastic so eventually when you smoosh it or close it plastic does uh start to crack now i'm going to just show you a tip with this one if you um two and one if you have say potatoes on the bottom and you want to steam some broccoli that just sits in there just like that and you put the cover over it done so then you take out your whatever you've got in this and it's already strained so you, um there you go and then you strain off whatever it is in that dish the multi-purpose steamer this is the work course in my kitchen i use it for most of my meals um whether it's uh making rice you know ten, rice in the microwave 10 minutes pot doesn't boil over um steamed potatoes uh frozen hamburger meat i can have taco meat ready in 10 minutes um, you can see that it has the three strainer or sorry, the steam vents in the front. So, uh, just when you take it out, I recommend that you, uh, flip it up this way so that the steam goes that way, not towards you. And inside it does actually come with a tray. So it can work two ways. Um, it will actually fit in so that you can say put chicken on the bottom and if you want to steam your broccoli or your veggies on the top you can totally do that um and it also goes this way so if you have two foods that you don't want to touch uh it will separate it that way and that goes uh from it can be used in the microwave and it is um you can go in the oven too and it is food grade silicone and it doesn't have any of those icky chemicals the other uh another item, item that's in the collection would be the prep pro scissors they were out a number of years ago and they have brought them back they are stainless steel they are uh really sturdy use them for of course you need you think scissors you're cutting paper or something else but you need kitchen shears in the kitchen too so I've got my chicken wings, I'm slicing that up, up, or I'm cutting off fat on the chicken, or you know what, even sometimes I'll take some chives and chop it right over the bowl. Uh, very ergonomic, very nice and strong, and I had three, three of them. So most days, the three of them are in use because I've got chicken on it and then I need to open up a pack of a meal solution or I need to use it for something else. So I have three. Uh, you can see this right here. This is the baking sheet and it comes with the silicone liner. Now it does have the uh, lip here so that whatever it is, it doesn't 
go on to the bottom. So it makes cleanup easier. And sheet pan dinners, that is a dinner, uh, that is a thing. And you can find ideas on my website. So you could cook everything on here. Uh, easy cleanup. So put everything on it, put it in the oven, let it bake. This cleans off very easy and it easy cleanup. Now I do recommend you don't put the tray in the uh, dishwasher because it will ruin it. Um, but this can, it's either, you can wipe it off, put it on top rack of the dishwasher, or just get a little bit of baking soda and soap and clean it off. Now, one other thing about this, uh, it actually is good if you want to do like a pumpkin roll or any, uh, if you're baking, see how easy that is. If you've got it all spread out here and you want to do a roll, you could totally do that with that. Now, some of the pieces that's in the collection, um, when I went to, I actually, I use them. So this is why you see food in it. So it comes with the four cup bowl. So this is great for my leftovers. There's my dinner actually. I made uh, chicken sulavaki last evening and I had a little bit of rice. So it comes with the silicone lid, fits on nice and actually they can stack. So leftovers go in this. And uh, I do have a few of those and believe it or not, they're pretty much all in use with something. The last thing in the uh, setup would be your silicone funnel for your cruet for your homemade dressings or your sauces or anything else. Now this is the jar and on the bottom it does have measurements. Comes with the lid. So when you're, now I'm using this one. You just stick the funnel in, put in your dry, then put in your wet. Put the cover on. Give it a shake and you serve that on the table if you have any left over like i do i put it in the fridge and um that's it so i make the dressing as i want it and i make as much or as little as i want now i want to talk about a few others of my favorites the rectangle steamer this is one of the first steamers that i bought um, we didn't have multi-purpose until a few years later, but I use this every day, most days for oatmeal, or if I just want to, uh, warm up some corn, I, if I buy frozen, just to steam it, put it in the microwave for three minutes. My oatmeal is about a minute and a half. Um, I've had, when they first came out, I had customers buying them and they said they bought it for their husband because, uh, they worked across the where they worked, they needed to heat up their lunch. So this is what they warmed it up in the microwave with. Um, talking about the cruet, I've even had people, if you go to work, uh, you want omelets or eggs or something uh, for your uh, dinner, put the egg in the cruet, take this, or the omelet maker, and then you can put it in the microwave and it's cooked when you want it. It's already done. So this is now going on to the next item, the omelet maker. And in my group, in my Facebook group, there's actually all this. You can find other ideas for French toast, omelets, fried eggs. So this is really good for um, if you've got kids that you don't necessarily want to be at the stove. They can take an egg, put in this, put it in the microwave and uh, cook it themselves. The round steamer. This came out last year. So very similar to our uh, multi-purpose one, except that it's round and it's rigid. Now this is good for, you wanna put a three pound chicken in it, put some roti of our rotisserie seasoning on it, put it in the microwave and it's cooked, depending on your microwave, uh, in about 20 minutes. Now it does go in the oven as well, um, cause I've baked a chicken in that too. Um, but I use, whether it's a, other one or for boiling macaroni or anything else like that it's same i use it for the same purpose the uh roll up rack this is on my uh stove so it's stainless steel core you can see that I, well i can roll it up so it does have a space saver if you have a small kitchen or if it's good for you have a small kitchen and you just need to store this way or you need more cupboard space or you're washing say uh, veggies 
or you got a few dishes that needs to dry, it actually fits over your sink. And uh, it is sturdy, so it will hold um, a little bit of weight there. Now we have the four cup bowls, but we also have the one cup. Comes as a set of four, again with the silicone lid. And same thing, most uh, mine are used for sauces, leftovers. Um, so I had to dig one of these out of the fridge. And I think this is the lemon pepper aioli that I made. The Prep Pro silicone knife. Comes with a nice lit, uh, sleeve to protect it for when it's put away in the drawer. Um, silicone, or sorry, stainless or ceramic. It's actually sharper than stainless steel. It's just, of course, ceramic, so you can't use it for anything that has bone or anything hard. But say if you're cutting up uh, your lettuce or something else like that and you're chopping it up, you know how fast it usually turns brown. This actually s slows down that process. Something to do with the oxidation of whatever it is that you're cutting up. The Perfect Petite, 30 rectangles in it. Uh, many ideas for this. You could make ice cubes. You could uh, use it for baking, bounty bars. You could use it for baby food. You can use it for gel shooters, anything. Um, and of course, it's easy pop out oatmeal bars. Sky's the limit there. The muff, muffin uh, pan comes as a set of two and it's good for 12 muffins. Now it's round because it can go in the microwave or you can put it in the oven. So this is good for your muffins, your cupcakes. Uh, you wanna freeze leftover sauce. Um, I believe the serving, or it's a third of a cup. So if you wanna uh, have individual pucks for pizza or something like that, and then just grab a puck to make a pizza, great for the kids. Many uses for that. And just three more items. The silicone knife, this is new this season. So it's great for uh, if you're taking anything out of uh, scoop out. It doesn't, don't use a regular knife because you'll cut your uh, silicone. The three, or this is the three in one spat, or sorry, the spatula. Great for getting anything out of the jar. Mayonnaise, for example, where it's nice and curved. Um, I use it for mixing up cakes. I, actually, I use it a lot for, uh, you know, it's a little dandy tool. And last but not least, the four in one spice spoon. So you can tell that the bottom of the tea tablespoon, it actually kind of looks like a scoop. This was actually designed to fit into our jars. So you just put in the uh, scoop, take it out and there's your tablespoon. Back here is your teaspoon and you flick it over is your half and your quarter. So there's a little line there where that will tell you where the half is or where the quarter is. And um, that's, I have a few of those because I'm measuring and I don't want to, if don't want to cross contaminate the different seasonings or maybe I'm using it for something wet and I need the dry end. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'd love to hear some of your favorite cookware. Please comment below.